Welcome to our first virtual lesson in chemistry. Hopefully most of you watched the video I posted yesterday, the crash course video about acids and bases. Um, if you haven't taken the viewing quiz yet, you should do that. If you haven't watched the video, you should do that before you take the viewing quiz. Um, we're going to keep on learning. Um, you'll have a viewing quiz on this video as well. At some point in this video, I'm going to tell you what the secret question is. You'll only be able to answer that question if you've actually watched the whole video. Um, so there's your incentive to actually watch what I'm, what I'm posting up here. So we are kind of in a weird spot in the class right now. We had covered a lot of stuff about acids and bases, but I had also told you I was going to give you a chance to do a little makeup work before that would actually go on the third nine weeks and help your grades going into the fourth nine weeks. I still want to do that if we can. So this week is going to be a little light in terms of chemistry content, and I'm going to be reaching out to you individually to tell you what missing assignments you can try to make up um, to help, in some cases, raise your grade. For some of you, this we're still going to have to deal with technological problems, and we're going to work through that one-on-one. -on -one. So watch for an email from me um, about what, or also a posting on Google Classroom about how we're going to take care of that. But this Friday. You're going to have a quiz over acids and bases. Um, the quiz is going to be through Classmarker, the same program that you use to take the viewing quiz, um, if you've taken it, um, and the same program that you'll use to take today's viewing quiz. So that's where your quiz will be on Friday. Um, that's going to be a real grade. So I want you to take it seriously and prepare. You're going to need the notes that we took in class last week, and you need to take some notes on today's lecture, today's little review assignment mostly is what we're going to do here. Um, if you have questions, post them to me in Google Classroom, and I'll try to answer them. So, what I want to do is go through the topics that, that will be on your quiz on Friday. Um, you also are going to have a UC Quest assignment. I'll pause for you to cheer. I know your excitement. I know how much you love UT Quest. Um, you'll have a UT Quest assignment, which should be available right now. There aren't a ton of questions on there, but doing those questions are going to help you prepare for the quiz on Friday. So, what topics will be on the quiz on Friday? I want you to have on there... The definitions and examples of acids and bases. Also on that quiz, I've lost my little post-it note. There we go. The definitions. And examples of strong versus weak acids and bases. All of this should be in your notes that we took in class last week, or the week before last, whenever we took notes on acids and bases. I'm also going to expect you to be able to name acids. I expect you to be able to write and balance neutralization reactions. So this is just neutralization reactions qualitatively. I also expect you to be able to do titration calculations. Obviously, these two go together. The, the titration reactions that we do are neutralization reactions. But here I'm talking about just qualitatively writing and balancing them, maybe doing the complete and net ionic equations, which we also did in class. And for the titration calculations, I'm talking primarily about molarity of the acid, volume of the acid equals molarity of the base, volume of the base calculations. Although, I've asked you to do at least one in the UT Quest that's a little bit different that's going to require you to go back and work with solutions to a geometry problem. I know you know how to do this, and if you've forgotten, just let me know, um, and I'll help you out with that. If you're having specific problems and you really want to work one-on-one, -on -one, I found that Zoom is working really well for me to get in touch with students, so just let me know, and we can meet on Zoom and we can work problems together. So these things I feel like we have covered well in class um, and or in the video that you guys watched yesterday. The last thing that I want you to learn about acids and bases that we didn't really cover, although it was in the, the, on the crash course video, was conjugate acids and bases. So that's what I want to talk about next. When we use the 
the Bronsted-Lowry definition of acids and bases, where an acid is a substance that donates a proton and a base is a substance that accepts a proton. We can also acknowledge for the first time that sometimes reactions go backwards as well as forwards. This is an important concept called equilibrium that we'll talk about more in a few weeks. Um, but for right now, let's just imagine that we have a weak acid. The weak acid I'm going to pick is vinegar, which is acetic acid. We know that acetic acid dissolves in water. We know that because we have a bottle of vinegar on our shelves in our kitchens. So when this vinegar reacts with water, the reaction that takes place transfers this proton, this H plus, away from the acetic acid and gives it to the water. So when the acetic acid loses the proton, what's left behind is just the acetate ion dissolved in solution. When water accepts the proton, it becomes H3O+, which we call hydronium. On the left-hand side, it's easy enough to see. The substance that's donated to the proton is the acetic acid. Also, it has the name acid in there. The substance accepting the proton is the base, that's the water. But then in the video, we defined things on the product side as being conjugate acids and conjugate bases. The idea here is that what I've drawn is an arrow that only goes in one direction. But the truth of the matter is that this reaction can go in the other direction as well. So if we turn it around, and starting from the other side, when this reaction takes place, we can think about this as being a proton transfer as well. What was it that gave up the, the proton, the H plus? And it would be the hydronium. So the hydronium over here is our conjugate acid. And the acetate ion is our conjugate base. So acetic acid and the acetate ion are a conjugate acid-base pair. The water and the hydronium are a conjugate acid-base pair. In any reaction, the one that's labeled conjugate is just the one on the product side. I refer to my sister as being my sister, and I refer to me as just being me, right? But if you were going to talk to her, she thinks of me as being the sister and herself as being just her. I don't know if that analogy makes any sense. The, Acetic acid and the acetate ion are a pair. Whichever one is on the product side gets the conjugate label. Whichever one is on the reactant side doesn't, because we're thinking of it in terms of that substance. If we were to write this reaction backwards, where we had hydronium and acetate ions on the left, and then acetic acid and water on the right, then hydronium would just be the base, and the, I'm sorry, uh, acetate would be the base, hydronium would be the acid, and the others would be the conjugates. Maybe I'll do a couple of practice problems, maybe in a Google Doc, um, to give you a little bit more um, practice with this. I think some of you probably, it clicks, it makes a whole lot of sense, and some of you maybe less so. Um, before I sign off on this, we've got to have a secret question. Um, your secret question for today is, what's your favorite animal? When you take the quiz, if you guess my favorite animal, then it will count it as correct. If you put in your favorite animal and it's not my favorite, the quiz will say that you missed a point. But don't worry, these are all completion grades um, for, the quiz, for the viewing quizzes anyway. All right. Um, hope you're staying safe. Hope you're washing your hands. Hope everything is going well with you. If not, send me a message and let's see how we can fix it. Bye.